We're in Moena and we're going to discover how to make canedoli with lots of cheeses. Allora, io sono Isabella e faccio i canedoli col puzzone di Moena e il cuore di fascia. This is Isabella and she lives in the beautiful village of Moena. From her home, you can see this farm, Agrita El Mas. Their grey alpine cows spend the summer grazing in the mountains. This is Ota, the St. Bernard, who keeps an eye on them. Michelangelo makes a smelly cheese called Puzzone di Moena, and Isabella is here to buy some. E adesso compriamo il latte, il formaggio, il burro, compriamo tutto quello che vogliamo. <laughs> Puzzo means smelly in Italian, but this cheese actually tastes sweet and nutty. Ciao, <laughs> Isabella removes the rind and slices 200 grams of puzzone di moena and 100 grams of a milder cheese called cuore di fassa. The mix of cheeses is up to the cook and if you don't live in moena, you could use fontina or even a strong cheddar. Isabella cubes three white rolls which are three days old. Traditionally, people ate rye bread and white was for special occasions. Avevamo il grano, coltivavamo il grano e poi lo portavamo al mulino dove facevano eh, la farina, lo macinavano. These cheese canedoli are a way of making sure the bread doesn't go to waste. La mia nonna ha avuto 14 figli, si che a mare i quattro noi stavamo bene perché eravamo contadini. Isabella beats two eggs with a pinch of salt and mixes them with 200 mils of whole milk. She pours this mixture over the bread. She chops the cheeses together and makes sure the pieces are around one centimeter in diameter. Daughter Paula has stewed half a leek in oil. This has to cool a little before she adds it to the mixture. Isabella wants a tablespoon of finely chopped chives for the mixture. She adds two tablespoons of flour. Isabella mixes everything together thoroughly. She doesn't want it to be too sticky, but it has to hold together. Keeping her hands wet, Isabella squishes a handful and rolls it into a ball roughly the size of a tangerine. She wants them smooth and compact. She poaches the canedoli in salted water for a good 10 minutes. While Paola grates and plates some puzzoni di moena, Isabella browns some butter. She spoons this over the canedoli and grates some grana di Trentino, the local grana padano cheese. Isabella finishes them with a sprinkling of chives. Il piatto è servito. Buon appetito, grazie a tanto. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.